Hello gamers, my name is Kevin and this is the Veterans Gaming Podcast. Hello gamers, my name is Kevin and this is episode 37, 37 of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. Uh, I am playing FIFA 23 career mode and I am the manager of Blackpool FC. I was able to get them promoted to the Premier League uh, this uh, past season uh, in a thrilling final and now I am about five games into the uh, Premiership season, my first Premiership season as Blackpool manager in my last game. Completely dominated Chelsea, three to nothing at home. Uh, my next game is going to be at the Etihad. My next league game is going to be at the Etihad against Manchester City, who are undefeated and they are blowing everybody out of the water. Uh, pretty much how they've been doing in real life. Uh, but before that, there's a Carabao uh, Cup match against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Uh, quite frankly, the Carabao Cup is a competition that I have no interest in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here to play match. I'm going to put a bunch of substitutes in. And I'm, I'm just going to simulate the match, and I'm basically I'm going to rest all my, all my stars. So let me go ahead and do that. And then from there, I will uh, go on to uh, the next, uh, to the big one, which is going to be against the NC Hot. So uh, just bear with me, uh, bear with me a few minutes here while I, uh, while I uh, get all my, uh, all my substitutions here in order. Well, I'll just play that match, and then I'll uh, then I'll move on to the Big Daddy, which is going to be against Manchester City. Uh, I'm simulating this, like I said, I don't care about the Carabao Cup, which is used to be, used to be called the League Cup. I'm more interested in the Premier League and the FA Cup, and hopefully uh, my goal this season is not only to avoid relegation, but if I can get a top four spot, uh, maybe get to the Champions League next season, or one of the top, uh, what is it, the 5th, 6th, and 7th get into the Europa League next season. That's uh, that's my focus. I'm not interested in... Uh, I'm not interested in the in the Carabao Cup, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to simulate this game, but I don't want to burn out my uh, regular players. So this is why I'm going to put all the, uh, all the subs in. And then we'll, uh, we'll we'll do that, play that, simulate this match. Let me see, I got two more subs I gotta make. So let me put some uh, put some young bucks in there. Uh, let me uh, put him in there and then put Arnold there. Like I said, this is okay. Let's see, everybody that's uh, what is, who's this guy? So let me go ahead and do a quick sim. Let me make sure that uh oh hold on 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 let me uh get Newman out of there and let me put in Ashley Phillips. Where is he at? There and let me make sure uh make sure yeah I'm not gonna put Hamilton in. All right that that should do it. So I'm going to do all these substitutions. Let's do a quick sim. Not really worried about winning or losing this one. Okay, so we're out of the Carabao Cup. Fine with me. Don't care. Now I get to move on to the next match, which is going to be against Man City at the Etihad, the, really the best team in the world uh, at this point. Now, in the uh, in this FIFA 23 career mode, uh, last year they won the, Manchester City won the Europa League. Well, it, it looks like it's uh, going to be a whole different story uh, this year, the way they start off the Premier League season. As you know, in real life, uh, Manchester City won the treble. They won the Premier League, they won the FA Cup, and they won them at the Champions League and really solidified themselves as one of the greatest teams ever, if not the greatest team ever. And Pep Guardiola, in my eyes... Uh, solidified solidified himself as the greatest manager ever. 
He won the treble in uh, 2009 with Barcelona. He also he almost won it again in uh, 2011. Actually, in 2009, he won all six trophies. Uh, La Liga, uh, La Copa del Rey, the Champions League. Then he won the uh, Spanish Super Cup. Uh, he won... Uh, there was another cup I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, the, UEFA Super, uh, the UEFA Super Cup. I think I mentioned that. And then also the uh, Club uh, World Cup. Uh, in 2011, they won, almost won all six trophies, but they lost uh, the final of the Copa del Rey to um, uh, Real Madrid. So he almost got the sextuple twice. And now with uh, Man City, they got the treble uh, last season and uh, really got a big monkey off their back because they've been wanting to win the Champions League forever. Uh, let's look at some player chats before we move along here. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, this guy wants to... Uh, Wants to uh, play more, get the right attitude. Uh, Ali Casey. Da, 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 da. Just keep working hard. I'm not gonna see him be too hard on these guys. They're really not gonna get a lot of playing time anyway. So. You know, I have to rotate the squad. So, CJ, you don't be too upset. I just want to prepare to turn out. Uh, I've got you in mind. Okay, you know what I'm going to do with uh, Lawrence Gabriel? I'm going to... Don't worry. I've just had to switch things around. I'm going to put him in. I'm going to put him in against the... Uh, against Manchester City. But let's see what we got here. My popularity rating is 99, as it should be, because we got promoted to the Premier League. Thank goodness. Okay, so my... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so... Plus, that makes me more, more desirable if I ever want to move away, which I don't, by the way. Okay, let's see. Training. Let me see if we can better... Let me see if we can better this. And that... Bettering these drills should give me a boost should give these players a boost going into the next game all right mm -mm -mm. pathetic mm. come on now. all right good good Okay, this this drill really isn't gonna. I'm not really gonna get a lot of points here, especially with uh, those misses. Oh, what a save there, Bazunu! What a what a keeper he has been. I'm glad that uh, we were able to keep him. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to. Let's try this one. And then uh, after we do this drill here, we're going to go ahead and go to the big match at the Etihad. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I was supposed to stop that. Oh, pathetic. There we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. All right, let's uh not great training, but let's advance. Ooh. Man City, fifteen points. They've won every match so far this season. Okay, the big move that I'm going to make, I'm going to put a, put him, use his pace. And let's 
put Miley in instead of, uh, ooh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Instead of Wagner, I'm going to replace him with Miley for this game. I'm going to keep everybody else as is. Let's see. I'm going to put Lavia in. Romeo, uh, Lavia, because he's got, he has more pace. I'm not going to put Hamilton in. Let's see, his pace is 91. Fief is 88. I might save Hamilton for later. Okay, this is what I'm gonna go with here. Uh, let's see. Angulo's pace is 92. Let me see something here. Let's see. Division, balance, jumping. Okay. Hmm. Angulo's a better finisher. But I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep this the way it is. We got a clean sheet last time. I kind of. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let Borges. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. Uh, they're not putting in uh, Erling Holland. So what I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna. No, I'm going to keep Borges in the middle because of his lack of pace. So let's go. At the Yeti Hot. This is episode 37 of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. My name is Kevin, U.S. Army veteran, U.S. Navy veteran, Iraq War veteran. Hence the name Veterans Gaming Podcast. So uh, any veterans out there, uh, feel free to give me a shout out. If you're a soccer fan especially, I'd love a shout out and if this is your first time watching, hopefully you can uh, go back and uh, watch some of my old episodes. You can uh, see how bad I was when I first started this podcast and uh, just how much better, how much more confident I've gotten in my uh, in my ability to uh, basically engage the camera, so to speak. This is just an easy drill. Let me get a sip, quick sip here. Let's go. Julian Alvarez, three goals in the last three games, and Erling Holland is coming off the bench. We played them in the uh, quarterfinals of the FA Cup last season. Uh, we really gave them a run for their money. They were playing us at Bloomfield Road. We were up 2-1. to one. Uh, They managed to score twice in the last 15 minutes and were able to come away with the victory, but it was a solid performance. But now, we're playing them in the Premier League. And uh, I absolutely believe that uh, we can get a victory against them. So let me take off my glasses here. Well, you know what? I had them on for the Chelsea game, so I think I'm going to keep them on. I guess they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it, so... Never heard of uh, David Calabria. Oh, those guys heard of them. Never heard of Morgan Rogers, but uh, actually I have, but I don't know too much about him. And then of course we all know about uh oh they got Thomas Mueller too, and Erling Holland. Whew. Good gosh. Oh my goodness. It's uh, safe to say that Manchester City gonna be a handful. And Lawrence, uh, Jordan Gabriel, I think he's kind of been a tad more steady than Newman. Newman kind of has gotten a little wild on the defensive end. Borges has been absolutely spectacular. 17-year-old free agent out of Uruguay that I got. You know, he, uh, he, gave up, he gave up a goal to Harry Kane in the first game of the year. But, I mean, Harry Kane is Harry Kane. 
So, other even then, he played spectacular. So, let's go time. Oh, yeah. Good nice job, Incapia. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice play, Afif. Oh, Jordan. That's more of Bukhari's fault than it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, crap. Is that offside? No. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can get back. Nice job, Incapia. Our ball. Oh. Oof. That should have been 2 nothing. All right, nothing going right right now for us. Oh, Foden with the move. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, come on. They do. Perfectly executed penalty. All right, we're in danger of getting blown out of the water here, so we need we need a response. Mm. Okay, good luck. Shot cooler. Good job, Gabriel.
Shavi Simmons. Score. Oh. Oh. Gosh. Okay, we're, we're playing better. Buona notte. Oh. Okay, get up, get up, come on. Don't stay down. There you go. Okay, offside. I was going to say. That had to have been offside. Okay, all right. Too strong of a cross there. Ah, oh, that was a weak pass. Ooh, that was a risky pass. Oh, Simmons. No, no, no. Miles off. All right. All right, it's uh, not great, quite frankly. Let's see what we can do here. We need a spark. We need a goal like immediately. There we go. Oh, drop on settle. Not our day right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're killing us.
Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, this is over. This one's pretty much done now. So I might as well get some substitutes in. And... There's a. I have to take this out for on this one. I mean, they have just given us the business. Wow, wow. Look at Holland. Oh boy. What's that? Oh no, they're gonna bring in Moore. Boy. That was, uh, I gotta laugh at that. I mean, that bounced off of one of my defenders. Look at this. Oh gosh, okay. I have nothing to say there. Okay, I'll find again, I'll get to go. I mean, I mean, no, not, come on, bro, stop celebrating. At least we scored against them, so. No, not no more, eh? Mm. Great save there. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh. Well, that's that. Five to one Man City against us. Quite frankly, they are levels, levels above us. But hey, at least we were able to get a goal, so we're going to get shut out. That's really all I got to say about that one. Mm -mm -mm. Erling Holland with two goals. No need to show the highlights. This was just a, a massacre. I mean, listen, Lawrence Gabriel, he did good. Uh, and die, and I was, unfortunately, today, and I was shit. Um, really, our whole front line was shit. You know, and can't even blame Bazunu. Uh, this was this was just a straight old, uh, good old fashioned ass whooping that we took. Uh, but uh, hopefully, we'll uh, take some lessons from this into the next game. That was. That was terrible. It really was. We deserve better than the scoreline. I can't be too harsh on the boys. I think we work hard. Uh, but Manchester City is Manchester City. Not me. Getting a result today was going to be difficult. You must be disappointed how the game went. Went right wrong for your team. We play Manchester City. Um, you know, they put us under a lot of pressure. I'm really not going to be too critical. They were they were better than us from the top to bottom. So, Holland is a dangerous player. Uh, I mean, he is. I mean, he's an excellent player. You know, and he's making a difference for them. Quite frankly, these, this uh, Manchester City team is levels, levels above us right now. And so we have to uh, we have to keep pushing and keep striving, and maybe one day uh, we can get to their level. But right now, they're just supremely better than us. Portland Timbers wants to sign Reese James. Okay. You got him. You got him. Okay, so let's go into our next match. I think it's going to be against Aston Villa at home. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay. Nothing to, nothing to do there. So let's go out here in this next game and, and get a win and make up for it. So yeah, we'll be playing Aston Villa next. I mean, they absolutely beat our ass. Um, who, have, who the heck is Gil Vicente? Uh, well, whoever they are, no. And then trusty. Yeah, man, get, get this guy out of here, because. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can have him. All right. All right, let's go to uh, our next game. Please note the following photo will be leaving from October the 5th to the 11th. Bazuno, Hamilton. Bukhari and Shabi. Bournemouth. Want Lawrence Gabriel? No. You know, he really wasn't that bad last game, to be honest. All right, we are now 11th. Aston Villa, they've only got three points. Let's see where they are in the standings. Okay, they're 17th. Okay, oh, that goals against, and that it, the goals against really wasn't that bad, but going up against Man City, look at that. So, but Spurs and 
Wow, Forest. Forest out here handling business. The three teams that have beat us are the top three. Are the top three in the league right now. Okay, so let's go out here and get a let's get a W against Aston Villa. All right. Uh, monthly report. Let's see right now. Ain't none of these guys really standing out at this point. Nothing. No one. No one stands out uh, in the youth academy. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? 83 potential. Akile, ooh, great name. Akile Bouchard, 93 potential, 82 potential, 89, 86, 81, 89. Come on, bro. Like, no. 89, 74, 80, 76, 75. So we've got a name game. Came Achille, a six foot four. All right, let's sign him. The rest of them I'm not too excited about, honestly. So that's in France. Let's see what this scout found in England. Uh, 89, 80 potential, 69, 87. Alfie Hurst. Can go another goalkeeper. 70 potential. Another goalkeeper, Tommy Andrews, 90 potential. 60 potential, 69, two. Okay, nothing, nothing special here. And then uh, let's see, let's see Vizella, never heard of them. They want C.J. Hamilton. No, C.J. Hamilton will definitely be with us all the entire season. Okay, let's go to the press conference, and then we're gonna play Aston Villa. Aston Villa versus Blackpool looks pretty even conscious on paper. I'm sure you've got a plan to win the game. How do you plan to approach it? We won't us underestimate them. We'll show them every respect. So, but I'm confident, and really I'm comfortable with the squad, despite that beatdown we just took. We got good cover everywhere. You don't be able to go to squad all night, so. We've been developing for a while. We're ready. How can you help your players find a bit of consistency? It's about confidence. I'm a bit short on self-belief, but... Let's go out there and give uh, Aston Villa the business. I think for this game, I'm going to rest Inca Pia, the captain. I'm going to set him down. Or Bangura. Martell the captain. A thief was pretty much a no show, so I'm gonna put Hamilton in here. And since uh, Fanagian got a goal, I'm gonna put him in there. And everybody else. And everybody else. Oh, let me put a. Take Wagner out and put Lopez in. I might just go. F then, you know what? I'm not going to have any center backs. Yeah, I'll keep them. I'll keep them in there. I should probably get somebody in there for a midfield cover. But. But I won't. I won't. Okay? So let's go to a, a match against the Aston Villa. 
let's see how that comes up. All right, let's go. At home to Aston Villa. This will be a match number seven. It's raining. Let's jump on Aston Villa. Hope you're enjoying episode 37 of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. We're getting close to episode number 50, and I'm trying to see what I can do that could be a little special for that episode. So stay tuned. May or may not happen. Uh, shout out to Lee Charles TV. Hope you're watching, my man. Sorry about what happened against Man City, my man, but they're at a whole other level. So uh, Martel is going to be our captain today. Yes, Aston Villa. Aston Villa right now uh, close to the bottom of the table. Philip Coutinho and Aaron Ramsey. All right. We're going to go in a 4 2 3 1. Let's, let's handle them. Let's handle our business. What a fabulous player he has been so far. Oh, that should have been a goal scoring opportunity right there. Took a bit for them, anybody to get a shot, but Oh, 
poor Lillard. Brutal mistake there. Oh, bad mistake by Borges. That's all on Borges there. Okay, you gotta step it up. Nope, offside. Again, damn it. This dude, I'm going to sit his ass down. Okay, three to one. All right, there's hope. We got hope. We got hope. We got hope. That's what we needed. All right, now that's enough. Come on, no, no more celebrations. It's not all lost here. What a horrible first half, though. Okay, we got a, there's some ground to make up here, obviously. So. See what they have in store for them on the break. 
Oof. Okay. No! Bangura! Oh my god, Bangura. What was that? Gorgeous. All right, okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's a good fall. Come on. Come on. We gotta get a goal here. No, no, no. Wow, this is brutal. All right, let's get some subs in. Because this one's pretty much over, too. This is absolutely fucking really brutal. Wow, oh, gosh.
Wow, 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 wow. This here. Wow, wow. This this is one of those matches. I like it. Well, we just got destroyed at home. We just absolutely got embarrassed. <sighs> Match rating should be zero. for this episode but this episode has been been shit it's probably been the worst episode ever inexplicable skip the whole press conference man the ship I, I'll, I trust the players but golly yeah that was oh my god it's not gonna help any popularity wow that was I can't even explain what happened there. The uh, losing to uh, Man City, understandable, but that right there. Inexplicable. So, yeah, well, we had a good training day, but. Wow. Let's see this guy. Let's scout him. Okay, he's got a lot of good attributes. So we might look to him for the future, but right now we gotta write we gotta write this ship. I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and go into the next match because see another transfer offer for Hamilton. Uh Hull City. No.
Well, I, I can't really explain this Aston Villa loss. I really can't. Okay, bye, dude. Yeah, I hear a six month old. Just get out. Okay, now we gotta go at Newcastle. Wow, this is tough. It's tough, but we gotta push through. I don't know what's going on. Arauca. Arauca, wherever they are. I guess they're in Portugal. I mean, hey, he's getting a lot of offers, but I want to keep him. <sighs> My God, we're needing a win here. We're 13 for. We just we just got our ass kicked. I asked the relevant. That's and then Newcastle right now they sit fourth, but uh. We can we can pull this off. But I'm gonna go out with my I'm gonna go out there with my best uh, my best eleven. Yeah, everybody's morale's down after that ass whooping we took. So here goes. Ah, uh, terrible. Terrible. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, let's uh, get this. All right. Man, after such a great game against Chelsea. Now we got a St. James's Park. We have got to get a get a spark. I thought maybe uh, resting Capier would make a difference, but no. Terrible decision on my part as the manager. So I gotta be held accountable for it. Surprise! Uh, surprised I didn't get fired after that. This beat down we just took, but we gotta come back now. We gotta come back stronger than ever. Let's see what they got? Four, three, three. Okay, they got some. They got some quality. Got a couple ex Liverpool guys in Fabinho. They've got a. Ooh, they got Real Mares. No wonder they're fourth. Look at that front three. So they're going to be a handful. Good job, all side.
That's a foul. Thank you. Yeah. No! God, he can't do shit. God, he's such a terrible one. Man, he can score, but my God, is he a bad passer. No. Good, good shot. Blair. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's what we needed. All right. All right. One nothing at St. James's Park. Okay. Great midfield work by Simmons and Aguilar. No chance. No chance for Pope. All right. Come on. Let's stay on him. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's all awesome. Gosh, it die you're passing. Fabinho almost got it in there. Here we go. Okay, all right. God, this guy can never make a good pass.
Oh. Fabinho is no real goal scoring threat, thankfully. Oh my god, Bukhari. Final oh. Yes, two to nothing. Finally, and die makes a good pass. All right, we are back on track. All right, Blackpool, up the mighty pool. Come on, guys. Beautiful. And he ate up the fullback there. That probably saw a shot that the keeper should have saved, but. Yeah, he should have saved that, but he went around a, the fullback there. Now it's two to nothing. All right, guys. Let's hold on for that W. Gorgeous again. Oh, not a great pass, though. Let's hang on for the W here. Come on, I need more from a thief. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, I'll side. Okay, good luck. Good job. Oh. Okay, that was a great save. Okay, good job. Good job, Newman. Okay. Great save.
That's what I need. And die. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Three to nothing, Blackpool. We've got this in the bag. Up the mighty pool. After those two beatings we've taken. Oh. Great job by Guler for to let that go. Okay, let's see what we can do. Do we need substitutions? Let's get them in there. Let's seal the deal here. Solidify the midfield. This should seal up. This should seal us getting a clean sheet, for sure. Nice job, I gave you. Oh. No clean sheet. How much time's left? No, we're not. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. We're not blowing this. We're not blowing this. Not blowing this. We went 4-2. Okay. 4-2 win.
Okay, we got the W, and that's all I care about. We'll let a couple of goals slip in, but oh well. All right, all right. Our defense sucked to a degree there, but we got the W. That's all that matters. Oof. We gave up 13 goals in three games. And die was great. Okay, let's look at our goals. Outstanding. Bukhari towards the end of half. Wow. Turn the defender around there. Quite frankly, the keeper should have saved that. So that gives us a makes us up two to nothing. What a pass. What a pass. Then they uh, they started getting back into it, but then this. That was it. All right, so we got a 4-2 win. We're back on track. Let's look at the grades. Uh, Karma Fief, really good. Man of the match. Die. Bukari, good. Overall, a solid performance by, by everyone. Incapil was okay. Borges, seven point for my hand. This man, Adriano Borges, star. Star in the making. Bazunu was good, but not great. But we got to win. Aston Villa wins again. Wow, that's impressive. But we beat a team that was uh, that had twice as many points as we, as we had, and we really dominated them. No surprise. So many games get decided in the midfield and our boys. We won the battle. We did. Got to be happy to have four to two. Couldn't ask for more. Four goals. That's what we need. We need more goals. Obviously. We deserve them too. We worked hard in training to get the players in the right place at the right time. So we made it difficult for Newcastle United from start to finish. Chavez is good in midfield, but what about him? What about him? We never let up. So we try to focus on our own game, and it was a good win. We needed that win. See what the inbox says. No prospects. Okay, we're having trouble getting prospects. Simulate the training. Uh, get ready to go ahead and get out of here. End this uh, podcast. We're going to be playing, of course, top draw displays from Shabby Simmons. No surprise. You see our next game is going to be against Everton.
and then Brighton. Okay, so we're hosting Everton. We're basically in the middle of a pack right now. Let's see who's on top. Manchester City, look at that. Hey, at least I can say we scored a goal against them. They are running away with the league right now. Imagine if they were to go 38-0. and Maybe they won't. But we got to win against Newcastle. Nottingham Forest uh, falling in the standings. My God, I wish we wouldn't have given up so many goals. And really the bulk of those goals are those two games against uh, Man City and Aston Villa. So right now we're in 11th place. Where is Everton? Everton is 14th. Okay. So that's going to be uh, the end of uh, episode 37 of the uh, Veterans Gaming Podcast. A quick recap. We lost 5-1 to one on the road to Man City. But Man City, as you can see, they're elite. We got embarrassed. 6-1 to one at home to Aston Villa. Inexplicable. However, we were able to come back this last game and beat Newcastle United 4-2. to two, So we'll be hosting Everton. Hopefully we can... Uh, Get a good winning streak going in episode 38. Until then, this has been the Veterans Gaming Podcast.